Married at First Sight Season 11, New Orleans, New Orleans, or whichever way you say it. <sighs> Welcome back to Church Girls Want to Get Married To. My name is Giannis. I am still not sure if I'm going to review Season 11. Those two black couples do look cute. Not that the other couples are not cute, but when I saw the black, I was like, oh, they're cute. They're cute. So I'm still not sure. <laughs> But I figure I need to at least start just in case I decide I'm going to review it. I'm just tired of Brad at first sight. And I'm tired of the drama. And I'm tired of them not doing right on the show, the producers and all that. But just in case I'm going to review it because I need to decide by next week is the 15th. I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and, and start just in case. I will also be reviewing Marriage Boot Camp. This will be my first time reviewing Mar Marriage Boot Camp. I watch it with the regular couples. I don't like to watch it with the celebrity couples because you know you not know if they're really there for the right reasons. Last time I watched it was with Kiki White, crazy as heck. I knew her husband was going to leave her, but I love her, okay? She's anointed <laughs> to sing, but she's crazy. Okay, so I'm going to be reviewing Phaedra's on. I only review it. I only review it if somebody's on that I like. And I like Phaedra. I know a lot of people don't like her, but I love her and her mama. Whoo, her mama can let me let slain in the spirit. <laughs> okay, so Married at First Sight season 11. And another reason, this, this season is probably going to be one of the most interesting to see because of COVID-19. So, you know, they had to stop filming and the couples had to stay in houses. Everybody was in quarantine. So we're going to see how this season end, end up. Be sure to subscribe to Janice Hilton uh, and my other uh, channel, So the Bible in One Year. Thumbs this video up. Share it out. Let me know. Do you want me to review it this season? Oh, watch it live. I'll do reviews. I don't know, child. I don't know. I'll tell you. Okay, so let's get to the couples, okay? And, I, and I'm going to be reading from the People magazine, okay? Let's go. The return of Matter for Sight is just a month away. Well, a week away for me. Ahead of this season 11, people can exclusively reveal the five new couples who will take a leap of faith when they walk down the aisle to marry a complete stranger. The upcoming season set in New Orleans and premiering July 15 will feature 17 two-hour episodes. I can't do the two hours, y'all. I'm too much. What y'all think about those two hours? I like the five couples, but I don't like the two hours, Okay. Uh, episode to capture each couple's emotional journey from wedding to honeymoon to daily struggles of working on their marriage. Additionally, the Lifetime has ordered more episodes of the self-shot spin-off series Married Our Couples Camp. I don't watch Couples Camp because I can't stand Jamie O. I, absolutely, I do not watch Unfiltered because of Jamie and I do not watch Couples Cam because of her. I just can't stand her, okay? Moving on, moving on. Okay, so the first couple is Amelia and Bennett. Now, I feel uh, as if the last two seasons, the producers are trying to bring people on that look like some of the other couples, like Amelia and Bennett. And I'll show you the picture because, you know, I got to do the editing stuff and I'm not there yet because I'm writing books, child. I, they they remind me of Jessica and Austin because they're they're goof, geef, goof goofy is it goofy geeky it's like and they're real like you know mm, I don't know about that dress girl and the bird on your hair baby I don't know I don't know but they I don't know they look mm, they look like I don't know child Bennett is twenty eight grew up in Montvale New Jersey oh a New Jerseyan hey and is the artistic director of theater of a theater company which theater company baby why you didn't put the name down there okay benny who has sought a life partner for years has been through a string of bad relationships lord jesus here go the drama bad relationships <sighs> but is deeply encouraged by murder for a history of success with past couples <laughs> what success a half of the couples are not even married, still married. I don't even think a third of the couples, this is season 11, and how many couples are still married? Six or seven? Huh? Shawnee's and uh, Jeppe, Je Jetha, he only staying with her for the baby child. You know he don't love her. I told y'all in her season she was going to trap. When she was on that beach crying, oh, you be somebody to love me. I knew I said she's going to get pregnant. She's going to trap you, Okay. Bobby and what's her name? 
Now he, you watch the couples cam. I hear people talking about how he don't look happy. Yeah, happy child. He's trying. He's starting to see who she really is. Okay. He was infatuated with her, and she want to be taken care of. Nothing wrong with want to be taken care of, girl. But you gotta make sure y'all work and love him. So I'm, I'm trying to wonder. Do y'all know all these, these successful couple? Beth is only staying with Jamie for the money. So he, she can take care of it. He could take care of her. So what couples success with the, is there something you guys know that I don't know, but cause I don't know about this, all these, these success they're talking about. What success? I don't know. <laughs> moving on, moving on. Amelia 27. So the age is okay, but I don't like them being the same age. Okay. It's just cause guys, guys mature slower than girls. So he's 28. He's really 21 and she's 27. Amelia Twinnison was raised in Richmond, Virginia. Okay, neighborhood next door. And is currently completing her medical residency. Okay, she's going to be a doctor. Okay. Amelia subscribed to the idea that you can fall in love with anyone-ish. No, ma'am. Lie, lies, lie, liar, liar, liar. Your ring is going to be on fire. And much like her grandparents arranged marriage, she really thinks it's possible to learn to love someone. Yeah, yeah grandparents that was a hundred years ago amelia that don't work today i know some cultures still do the arranged marriage Uh, -uh. but if you've been out there and you've experienced and have boyfriends and sex and stuff like that girl that arranged marriage work stuff don't work for you okay uh she really thinks it's possible to learn to love someone she loves social experiments and thinks married at first sight is the perfect one for her oh so you you just love a social experiment you don't want to be married right because this is marriage this is not something to play with I think a lot of people don't understand. It's marriage. It's a covenant. Okay, so that's moving on, moving on from these crazy people. Amani and Woody. Okay, I don't like the way Woody looked, but I'm going to come back and do my first view thingy. Okay, just from the pictures and what I read. Okay, Amani and Woody. Mm, he's short, child. He's short. He's child. That's going to be a problem. She's tall, too. She looked tall like, um, like Till. She has eczema. Oh, she has, is that eczema? It looks like eczema. Look at she has some kind of health issues going on. Hmm. Okay, well, he, he a little short. I, I can tell already. I don't, I don't care for him, I'm, but I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back on that. I'm... Woody 30 was born and raised in New Orleans, where he is currently a teacher and coach. Okay, he got a job. Thank you, Jesus. Woody is ready to find a partner with whom he can share the love and kindness he learned from his mother. Okay, where's the daddy? Where's the daddy, baby? Where's your daddy at? Okay. He knows who he, he is and what he has to offer for his future wife. Okay, let me read. And he's eager for the expert to help him find that special someone. Okay. Amani is 29. He's 30, 29. Oh, okay. Oh, we'll struggle through it. Was born in North Northern, Northern Carolina. Northern Carolina? North Carolina. And raised in Chicago, but moved to New Orleans to attend college. Amani is passionate about her work in the nonprofit sector and aspired to open a nonprofit organization working with youth. Amani is serious about finding a life partner to share her career ambitions with job. Mm, wrong, 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 wrong. Career com um, ambitions with explore the world and ultimately start a family. Okay. Okay. Sound pretty black and pretty black and white. Okay. Hmm. I'm not feeling Mr. Woody. Mr. Woody. <laughs> Back home, that's something else. That means something else. I ain't gonna tell you, okay? Now, <clears throat> this girl reminds me of Ashley. Al Olivia and Brett. Al Al Olivia reminds me of Ashley. Oh, wait, I was just showing y'all the pictures. I'm sorry, y'all. This is just so... Okay, so this is Woody and Amani. Just in case you haven't seen the pictures, I did post them, I think, on my community tab. And I just need to do the editing to put it in here. But child, I'm late. I, I ain't got time. I'm, I just, I got books I'm writing, okay? I just sent my other book to the proofer yesterday. And the, the, the editor is waiting for the other book that I ain't finished it. I'm not even halfway through it. Okay. <clears throat> and Olivia and Brett. They look cute. She looks like Ashley, right? Brett 35 was born and raised in Gretna, Louisiana. He recently become, became AWS Cloud practitioner certified excels in his career in it i don't know what that means uh brett has always been ready for marriage okay i like that okay brett uh has always been ready for marriage and and is 
definitely open to marriage at first sight experience since he believes historically arranged marriages have been the primary means of matchmaking for the vast majority of human history. I mean, I don't know, okay? I don't have the statistics. Olivia 30 was born and raised in Bozer, Bozier, 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 City, Louisiana. Hey, Louisiana, my godmama is down there. After receiving her master's of science in nursing and working in clinics in Iowa, she wanted to be closer to home and moved to New Orleans for a position with a comprehensive stroke center. Having worked hard in her career, Olivia is ready to dedicate the same time and effort in a relationship. Okay. Okay, these two sound pretty black and white. Olivia and Brett and okay all right moving on Christina and Henry now she looks like Davina remember Davina from season two she looks like Davina and she looks like what's the crazy girl that uh Tristan was with Maya Mia don't she look like Mia a little bit from the side but she looks like Davina okay from season two Ice Princess we called her Henry 35, so this is uh, Christina and Henry. Henry 35 was born and raised in Arabi, Arabi, oh, Louisiana. He currently works as clinical recruiter and enjoys the career he's established. Okay, I like that, established. Uh, all good words for us. Henry is looking for a partner to settle down with and feels he's tried every approach possible but has been unsuccessful. Okay. <laughs> the dating apps have been disappointed. Uh oh. And his friends and colleague colleagues have no one else to introduce him to. He's just picking like me. Henry is interested in married at first sight because he believes the experiment will be beneficial in many ways and is a once in a lifetime opportunity. That he be crazy to pass up. Right. Opportunity. See, a lot of people go on this show as an opportunity. Okay? It's not, watch, we're going to learn that his mama, cousin, sister, brother, auntie, uncle, or his great-grandmother is a producer on the show. Mark my words. Opportunity. Okay. Born in Homa, Louisiana, Christina 30 was raised by a single mother and never really knew her biological father. That's going to be a problem. But, like, we didn't know, we need, like, how come they didn't mention Woody's daddy or whoever daddy up here? But they go mention that the black girl didn't have a mama. You know what that means? This girl here don't have a mama? Well, not the black girl. It's going to be a problem. Watch, watch, mark my words, mark my words. Uh, Christina 30 was raised by a single mom and never really knew her biological father. The fight, the flight attendant, oh, she's a flight attendant, recently got out of a five-year relationship, child, five years and he ain't married you. Mm -mm, something's wrong with you, boo. Something wrong with you. You need my new book coming out soon. Talking about not wasting time with boyfriends. Five years. Oh, that's a long time, baby. Five, attended flight, flight attendant recently got out of a <laughs> excuse me, five-year relationship and hasn't put much effort into dating or finding a partner. She 30, girl, you're 30, okay? You gotta get it. Time for you to get it. She is eager for Married at First Sight experiment because she knows the experts are willing to do the work for her. Oh, you want somebody else to do the work for you. You don't want to do it yourself. Okay. Mm -hmm. She's gonna be, mm, I don't know. She's gonna be a problem. For her so she can settle happily into a relationship with her perfect match lies child they are not your perfect match they match they match notice each season one couple make it that's the one couple they match to make it all the other ones are for drama karen and maz hey karen my aunt name is karen she looks pretty miles hello miles hello tall dark and handsome just my type of guy wait a minute let me read 26 child he's a baby Miles 26 was born in Spartanburg, South Carolina. He has always been passionate about education and loves working with children and young adults. Miles is looking for a wife, but feels like his options are limited and thinks married at first sight is the perfect opportunity to be connected with a partner he would not ordinarily come across. Miles not only has faith in the experts, but trusts the process. Okay, we're going to see. 
Karen 30. Wait a minute, back up. He 26 and she's 30. Oh, Lord. Problems, 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 problems. But I don't know. No, 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 no. Karen, 36, 30, grew up in, but, let me say this right, Baton Rouge, Baton Rouge, <laughs> grew up in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and has been working as a consultant in New Orleans ever since she graduated. Consultant, okay, what that mean? Karen has been single for five years and finds dating to be quite difficult, five years. Karen is ready to get married at first sight because she believes the expert will find the right man who has been eluding her all this time? Okay, but he's 26 though. But we say, where he working? Did they say where he was? Does he have a job? Wait a minute, back up, child, because she's a black man. Gotta have a job. Twins is born, blah, 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 Spartanburg. I gotta get my husband down here to pronounce these names for me. He has been passionate about educating and love, da, 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 but finds a wife, opportunities, options are limited. Where he work? Where Ma's work at? She 30. Didn't I tell y'all it's gonna be drama? Okay, I'm going to come back and, um, let me call Mike down here. I'm going to come back and do a, um, first impression just from the couples and stuff and some stuff I've heard and seen already. Like I said, I have been dragging my feet today is the six and I'm just doing the new couples, which usually by then, you know, I've already done about five, <laughs> five videos, but I've just been kind of dragged because I'm really not sure and I'm still home and I'm publishing a book and I'm just so excited about my books and I'm going to, uh, babe, I need your help to pronounce a couple of these names. Come over here, please. No, no, no. I need your help pronouncing these. How, how you say Baton Rouge? Ooh, see, I told you. You got to speak up loud so the camera can pick it up. Wait, let me get back to it. Because a couple of these names, I couldn't get them. Okay, wait. Okay. How do you say Baton Rouge? Baton Rouge. Okay, not not the French way, Michael. How do you say it in English? Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. Wait, I'm waiting for this to come back up. I'm going to pause this for one second. Okay, I'm back. Uh, the article came up, and some of these I need my husband to help me to, to pronounce. So this is Montvale, Montvale, New Jersey. We know that, right? How do you say Montvale? Yes, that's right, Montvale. Okay, Richmond, Virginia. Du, 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 du. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This, this one, I'm like, where? Lee's currently a teacher. What is her? Sparta. Wait a minute. California. Du, 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 attend college. This one, this one. Okay. Gret, Gret, Gretna, G-R-E-T-N-A, Gretna, um, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Bo how do you say Bozier, 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 B-O-S-S-A-R-E-R, -S -S -E uh-huh, Bozier, okay, and, by, yeah, my waters, yeah, I remember seeing that one, um, and, um, Arabi, Louisiana, and this one with the S. I don't know which one this is. I couldn't get this one. Shreveport. No, I know Shreveport. This one. Okay, Spartanburg. Spartanburg, Spartanburg. South Carolina. Right, Spartanburg. Spartanburg. Okay. Okay, and the Baton Rouge. Okay, so I got Baton Baton Rouge. And how you say New Orleans? New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. <laughs> Some people like it's not New Orleans, it's not New Orleans. When I did the one in Chicago uh, and um, no Louisville, I would say Louisville. Everybody, it's not Louisville, Janice. It's is Louisville. How you say Louisville, Mike? Louisville. <laughs> All right, that's it, guys. From Married at First Sight season eleven, those are the couples. I'm gonna come back and give you some tea that I've heard. Okay, and look out for um, my review of Marriage Boot Camp. I was trying to review earlier, but my TV was acting up. Love you. Let me know what you think. Subscribe. What do you think? Any rumors you've heard about the couples? Who do you think is going to make it? Who do you think is not going to make it? I usually wait to give my who do I think is going to make it when I they do the matchmaking. And I'm, I have... I might have missed one or two, and I think some couples are staying together because they, you know, for the cameras and stuff. But I have been right, especially last season. Didn't I say um, Austin and the old and um, Austin and 
Jessica was gonna was gonna be the only one to make it. Yes, Jay. Um, um, what's her name? Greg and what's her name? Child, she's staying for the house, honey. Okay, did you see how she changed her face? Change. Was that last season or am I mixing up the couples? Lord Jesus. Mm. Anyways, honey, when she saw, what's her name, saw Greg's house, she was like, oh, she became somebody. <laughs> but I love them. I love stay together. All right, guys, I love you. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you want me to review the season? I'm still thinking about it. I'm not sure. Be sure to check my other channel, Study the Bible in One Year Out. And I have a new book coming out soon, Not Wasted Time with Boyfriends. And I forgot my other books. Wait, let me get them. In Christ I Am is available on Amazon and on my blog, Jane and Sultan blog. Two or three times, guys, you remind me you want to choose right because you don't want to end up being the naked wife, which is also available on Amazon or on my blog. I love you. Go, 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 go. Let me know what you think about the um the couples this season. All right, and I have more tea that I will come back and give it out. Bye.